Let's check out this monkey. <laughs> He's gonna jump, I think. Come on, jump, monkey! Jump! Oh, Whoa! No way! My name is Sid and welcome to another vlog. Those monkeys were ridiculous. I didn't get a lot of it on camera, but they were like hopping around all over our roof. We tried to feed them, but it didn't really work. So today I wanted to show you guys a little bit more about Chikmangalur. If you saw my previous video, you know we went to Chikmangalur to visit my friend's coffee estate, uh, which is beautiful by the way. If you haven't seen it, go check out that previous video up here. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit more about the tourist attractions that there are in Chikmangalur and they have some amazing temples like thousand year old temples so that's what this vlog is going to be about it's so nice to be in the middle of nature it's such a departure from Dubai because you know you don't really see that much greenery out here the way that you do in Chikmangalur it's a beautiful place So this temple is over a thousand years old, built by the Hoysala dynasty and it was one of the few temples that never got destroyed. So everything over here is in its original state, including the statues of the gods that they have inside. Unfortunately, I can't show you on film, but I'm sure you can find a picture. It looks really cool. Show me a statue is down there and what's interesting about this place is that they have seven doors and on the 23rd of March every year the light will cross all the seven doors and hit the statue. So I, I wasn't really able to explain what was happening in the temple really well but basically there were seven doors all aligned uh, one behind the other and uh, on that particular day the sunlight is able to go through those seven doors and hit the statue of the god which is at the end. It was built over a thousand years ago. So they had the architectural precision and enough knowledge about um, you know space and, uh, and the alignment of the planets that they were able to build a structure like that. So that's pretty amazing. So we did visit some other temples as well which were kind of not as well preserved as this temple but so beautiful. I would definitely recommend going and checking them out. Hi right guys, we are at the Halibadu temple right now, which is another ancient temple over here. This place is beautiful though. Nice. Parts of this temple were actually destroyed during the war and they had to be rebuilt but uh, look at the intricate detail they have in all the, the sides of the temple. See the heads are chopped off over here. We are here at Vaisala village which is uh, so we have a nice restaurant, it's a resort, so yeah, we're just checking it out. Yeah. 
Cheers to everyone. Cheers. God bless everyone. Cheers. Happy day. Cheers. Cheers. Okay guys, so we are in this resort. What is the name of the resort? Vaisala Village. Vaisala Village. And uh, we're just getting a little tour. What's your name? Fatima. Fatima is going to be showing us the, sure. a bit of the resort. Straight 12 years old. Oh my God. <laughs> so one cool thing is that they actually have an agricultural land on the other side, seven acres of it. So they actually grow all their vegetables organically over here. So the food that we were eating in the restaurant was actually uh, parts of it was grown right here. Organic means, so one seed should be continuously we are growing without any chemicals in yeah. husband's okay. yeah. manure. Okay. So three years. Okay. So after the three years only you are getting arbor, what you are saying that. Organic. So otherwise it is not organic. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. Sir, total we have 10 room here, sir. 10 Yes. Ten. So, so this is the painting? This is like the duplex olden style? style? Yeah. Duplex. Yeah. Beautiful, sir. Yes. This is Mughal style, like Taj Mahal and all. Yeah. This is marble. We're going to be We have an actual well over here. So it's like, it's not a tulip, so there's a, you know, post tree pink. Okay. It's called in a Brigamanish chair. It's called, it's also very poisonous oh, person. Poisonous Alright guys, so I am going for, a oh my god, <laughs> she has five great Danes over here, these dogs are massive, look at this, hi buddy, good boys, are they all the same age? No, these are the parents, uh, uh, oh they're the parents, come this side, come this side, Brandy, so these three are the kids, yeah, no way, that's awesome. So sweet. Such sweet babies. Missy! Hi, Tato. Hi, Toby. Oh my god, both of them. <laughs> These dogs are incredible, man. Such beautiful dogs. And they're so chilled out, they're so fun. Alright, we have to take this four wheel drive to go and see the estate. So, so we'll drive. Those are all coffee trees, by the way. Most of them. What are the tall trees? Silver, silver, silver oak? Jungle. Okay. We are going to the staff quarters for the estate. And this is where all the coffee farmers live. It should be interesting to see. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the vlog from Chikmagalur and uh, yeah, we had such a good time, it was good to spend time with the family and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place to visit, nice mountains, nice weather. Anyway guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
By the way guys, all the music in this whole video was composed by my super talented cousin. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to link it up over here. His name is Adwet Nemlekar. You should go check him out.